Now, the most senior Australian doctor caring for refugees on Nauru has been detained and deported from the island. Dr Nicole Montana replaced Dr Christopher Jones last month after he, he was also deported. Now, for more on this and the broader challenges being faced by healthcare professionals on Nauru, we're joined by the president of the Australian Medical Association, the AMA, Tony Bartoni. Tony, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Virginia. Why was your doctor Montana deported? Look, uh, we don't have actual clarity or any other specific information on that. What it does point to, however, is a, an ongoing crisis on the island. We've spoken about this humanitarian crisis evolving. This is just but another chapter of confusion and chaos on the ongoing story that is the provision of medical services to an, a very vulnerable group of uh, asylum seekers, refugees that are in a very vulnerable state and need um, urgent medical attention and we've been calling for their, their in particular, children uh, with specific issues to be uh, taken off the island as a matter of urgency. What do you think of the government that it hasn't yet, although we are hearing and reading in particular the, uh, today that some refugee families are quietly being transferred from Nauru to Australia with no fanfare, but that's going on. But what does it tell you that so far there's been no formal and complete acceptance of what the AMA has been calling for? Oh, look, this just points to an ongoing un uncertainty and confusion and lack of transparency in the whole issue. We were aware of uh, isolated cases, two by two, one by one, uh, of the people being taken uh, from the island and transferred on medical grounds, but uh, usually after a very convoluted, long, drawn-out process, a lot of interventions required in very late stages of their medical conditions, um, very, very urgent uh, and... and and unacceptable delays in that medical treatment being offered, with the delay then in transportation and being uh, ferried, with the, as you say, without fanfare. What we need to remember, though, is that there are ten, many tens of ch children in particular who are doing it extremely tough at the moment in very, very significant and severe states of medical conditions uh, that require urgent attention, and we require a solution to address all of those children in dire needs uh, rather than a piecemeal lack of approach which has lack of transparency and lack of medical oversight. Just before I let you go, I know time is taught, uh, tight, but Tony Bartone, Tony, uh, one of the reports suggests that Dr Montana was detained because she took a photograph of a child that she was treating and the government was uh, worried that she was planning to leak it. Um, if she was planning to use this photograph for evidence purpose of what was going on on Nauru, would you have a problem with that? Look, it's very important to know that doctors take photos of their patients with the patient consent in many, very forms of ongoing clinical care. Clinical uh, photography is an important part of the medical care. Uh, the speculation around why uh, she did or she didn't take the photo is irrelevant in this case. We need medical, independent medical sovereignty over the serv medical services on the island to a group of people that the Australian government has entrusted, has the care of entrusted to them. So uh, again, just very quickly, uh, can the AMA then as an organisation, are you happy and prepared to keep having your doctors there on Nauru attempting to provide that service or does this uh, bring it to a different position for you? We're extremely firm in our focus. We need to have an independent panel visit the island, assure and give the transparency to the Australian public that the care and attention required is being provided, that those who need to be transferred are transferred immediately to have a solution which takes vulnerable children off the island and in the, care, the medical care that they deserve. Tony Bartoni, thank you so much. Thank you.